Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes GLC. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a GLC 220D AMG line premium G-Tronic 4Matic Euro 6. 2017 on a 67 plate. Great spec. Has done 52,028 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 51.4 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 60.1 miles per gallon. And combined is 56.5 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 130 miles per hour out of 168 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. It has keyless entry, keyless lock. If you've got the key on you, if you just click that square there, locks the doors, folds the mirrors in. When you come back to the car, put your hand behind the door handle and it will just open. If you get in, there's a little button in the ignition lock. You can either use the key or you can use this little button that, that plonks in and as long as you've got the key in your pocket, it will start. Rear privacy glass, we've got the chrome bright work around the windows, the contoured aluminium uh, running boards, the side steps. Dark silver and diamond cut AMG five twin spoke alloy wheels with continental um, all season contacts all round. The plastic wheel arch protectors there. The Mercedes Benz LED high performance headlights. Big Mercedes emblem in the center there. Low chin spoiler. We've got front parking sensors. the twin glass panoramic roof. And I think, yes, it is. It's a tilt slide, the front panel tilts and slides back. So that's a, a great option. The aluminium roof bar carrier system, the integrated tailgate spoiler, power open, power closed tailgate. This has got the, it's got a heavy duty rubber mat inside. Uh, keep the boot clean. We have the rear load cover roller blind. There's two switches in the back on each side. If you just click one of the switches, the seat will fly down. Uh, that's a good design to stop you. You can just get in the back, load and, and load through. Power close. The rear diffuser there, the twin chrome exhaust tips, and also you've got your reversing sensors in the bumper. And just under here, you've got a reversing camera too. So easy enough to put the back seat up again. You've also, if you approach it from this angle, the little switches in the side there too. Nice high back rear seats. I'm assuming this is Artico leather, the Mercedes Benz man made leather. You've got the Isofix rear child seat anchor points in the back here. And here we go. Armrest opens up and put your phone in, not that you would or ever put it down. It's like gold these days. You've got the parktronic sensor in the back in the roof here so you can see where you're approaching, where, which side and, and what side the obstacle's on if it's beeping and what side you're getting close to. So that, that's a handy visual system too. Glass panel over the rear passenger seats make it nice, light and airy. Uh, having to get a bit of a wiggle on today because it's raining and I don't want my camera ruined. So here we go. Okay, I'll just take you for riding it. So that's the key or the fob anyway. As you can see there, I'll do this. It always springs out on me, but you can either use this button in which case you don't need to use the key or you can put the key in the ignition there. So I'll just put that back in there, foot on the brake, press the button and that's it. Then you've got the key to decide what to do with. You've got uh, three position electric memory seats here. Even the little seat squab there at the, the front. If, you, if I can show you that from this camera probably you can move that at the headrest as well so if you can't find a comfy position in this there's no hope for you you've also got 
I don't think that's ever been used before. So height and reach adjustable and it's electrically height and reach adjustable steering wheel. And then if we click M and one or two or whatever you want to do, that will remember it. And it'll also remember your mirrors, which I set before I came out this morning. And uh, let's go, the Mercedes-Benz gear selector is where you would expect your wiper stalk to be. But Mercedes know better than uh, all the generations of cars before them. There we go. So your wipers are now on the left hand side on your indicator stalk, there you go. And that's your rear wash wipe. Uh, switch there. Just here you've got cruise control and speed limiter too. Let's get going. Oops, forgotten the weekend and also the service history. Let's just put that in park a second. So, 17th of the 12th, 2018 at 7,503 miles, Mercedes-Benz Sunderland. 18th of the 2nd, 2020 at 16,073 miles, Mercedes-Benz Sunderland. 25th of the 11th, 2020 at 19,189 miles, Harrison's Lytham St. Anne's. 9th of the 11th, 2021, 33,499 miles, Harrison's Lytham St. Anne's. 7th of the 11th, 2022 at 50,146 miles, Harrison's Lytham St. Anne's. So, uh, so, let's see, what was that? 50,146. What had it done? Um, it's done 52,028 miles. Let's get going again. Been a struggle this morning. Very fine rain. The uh, the, the type that soaks you through before you know it. And uh, I do have a little attachment for my tripod, which I can then put an umbrella over the top of my camera. <laughs> but that snapped <laughs> this morning. So uh, I, I I did a quick walk around with a another camera that I've just bought in cases of emergency and then it stopped raining for well it stopped raining as hard for a short while so I think I've managed to do the outside but it was like Billy Whiz walking around it so we we bought this vehicle off somebody we know somebody who comes to the garage regularly um, for work if you actually buy a car at the door or go out and buy it rather than taking in part exchange it's, it means you've, you've got full confidence in it and, and full co confidence in the person that's had it. So it's a nice vehicle, it's got proper service history. It's finished in black with the black Artico leather and uh, contrast stitch. We've got heated seats as well. Heated seats are there, three setting heated seats. It has Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio seat streaming. This has got the nav module in it. So if I just click up there, oops. Well, actually I can forget all this and just go to nav. And then I've got to click agree there. We'll turn it across the top to view map clicked on that so there you go that's where we are at the moment so you, you've got the I think it's map pilot this one not just comfy at the moment that's better I am um, this is kind of Range Rovery with the, the rotary control 
Um, so you, you, rather than having the gear stick here, you, you seem to have more space in the front, makes the car feel bigger. Got this lovely black ash wood effect, which again I like, especially with the, this kind of triple black, black outside, black leather and black wood. It's been one of those days. Let's get round Certain Death Corner first. Right. So my, the, the sticky pad will have uh, <laughs> dropped in all the <laughs> rubbish, which is just what I didn't need. <laughs> right, <laughs> please, <laughs> give me a break. Over here, again, I'll wait till we get around this corner. I don't want a sudden surge of power right in the, the middle of a, a corner, taking me through that hedge. But if I click that forward in the centre there and on there, you'll see Sport. And then you've got Sport Plus and you'll have hit, heard the car change down, holds it in gear as long as possible so you can accelerate away not for me that setting I've actually set you, you can set your own as well so you've got comfort eco if I go all the way up to the top you've got individual so that's individual and, and you can adapt it you can there you go you can change the engine setting from sport, comfort, eco, and so on, and the steering. The steering's in comfort. Eco off, the stop start off. You forget about that, unless you want to have an accident at a roundabout, then uh, that needs to be off. We have paddle shift here, so I can change down on the left here, coming into the bend here change down one more engine sounds really good suspension not too wallowy not too harsh Quite a thumpy engine, really. Oh, Mr. Squirrel! No squirrels were harmed during the making of this video. I think, I think my jacket on this seat is causing a few squeaks i might just uh i might just 86 it in a second we'll get past the, all all the pheasants here loads of them right i'm gonna take my jacket off click park uh, open all the doors hope me camera doesn't fall off there well I'm glad all these pheasants survived the shoot yesterday they're, they're just 
<laughs> they must have been hiding yesterday because there's hundreds all over the place. Right, let's get going again. Over here in the center, there you go, you've got your stop start off. That you can click into manual. If I, again, I'll just wait till we get around the corner. So we're in manual there, and I can control it from the paddles. Why would you want manual? Back into automatic. Nice sport seat. Just slow down over here. The brushed aluminium panel or inset in the dash match all the switches and the door handles really well finished the sunroof as well let's just see where the sunroof is so there you go that shuts the blinds changes the environment completely makes it all dull and dark and depressing open the roof completely different car click on it and there you go we've got the tilt sunroof Pull back. And it opens up. So even better than just the glass panoramic panel. There we go, shot nice and quiet. So we'll just go back to Navi again. And Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. I think I did mention that. Uh, your volume control and on-off switches on the right-hand side here. But this rotary control here, you've got a star there, which is basically your, it's basically your home button. Navigation, radio, media, telephone, vehicle, consumption. If I click that, consumption, it's showing you the fuel economy. And uh, I did reset it before I came out, but it has been ticking over. So you can see here where it's been ticking over. I've brought the fuel consumption down quite drastically. We've got in the center, the information display. So that's on trip at the moment, I'll click it on trip. We've got range, 116 miles. It's showing the gear we're in your range, your consumption, and also it harvests the charge. When I take my foot off the accelerator, it shoots, fuel consumption shoots up, and then it goes past the blue into a green section, which is the, the battery charge. So it, uh, it saves battery power for when you need it. On the left, we've got the speedo. In the speedo at the bottom, there's your fuel gauge. As I mentioned before, the information display. On the right hand side, your rev counter, and then your coolant temperature at the bottom. Heater controls along here. Not the easiest heater controls I've ever seen. They're quite small and, you know, I, I, I like I like heater controls, proper ones, hot and cold. You've got the same here, but it's, it's kind of a button up and down. You see there, the display is actually on the iPad, 
kind of thing. So that's that. You air conditioning on and off, recirculating air, that sinks it so that uh, you can, you've got individual climate zones. The passenger can have their own set low or high uh, and the, the driver can have his set at what, whatever he wants. Um, obviously, the, I would imagine that comes in handy when you're uh, perhaps a bit tired and <laughs> you want cool air on you and the passenger is dozing away with a heater on. So you, you can have dual climates or you can make the passenger endure the same temperature as you want by just clicking sync there and then that, whatever you control yours or whatever you set yours to, that's the passenger as well. Over Back over to the menu here. There you go. Vehicle settings. Click on the vehicle settings. Acoustic lock feedback. Automatic mirror folding function, that's on. Locator illumination, so you put the lights and your, your headlights. Automatic locking feature. Interior lighting delayed shut off. Exterior lighting delayed shut off, so that allows you to get up your drive, key in the door, before, I didn't see those riders go past me. Before, but they're, uh, perhaps they've been resting up here or camping. Right, anyway, back to the car. Tow away protection. Interior motion center for the alarm, ambient lighting color. Now we all like ambient lighting. And there you go. You can check, is that it? Ambient lighting color, so you can change it from like yellow to, oh, Ukraine colors. Perhaps that's what it is. Solidarity. Just click on polar. No, that's, yeah, we, that's a bit <laughs> unimpressive. Anyway, back up there. Ambient lighting brightness. So click on that. And that's turned up to five. Easy entry exit. So open all the doors. So pretty good there. And then you've got the back button there. Vehicle settings, dynamic select, consumption, owner's manual, time, vehicle. We're back to where we were. Let's get back to the Navi. Certain Death Corner 2. Car coming the other way. I'm just going to wait here a second, so just in case he cuts the corner, which he would have done. <laughs> and your, your option is the wall there. Nice, nice car to drive, I have to say. Well, there seems to be a big swing these days towards SUVs over saloons and I understand it I prefer the driving position especially in places like this
A lot of mist around today. Car's, car's lovely. Think I manage my yard there. I'm sure there'll be a cyclist reporting me to the police if I if I didn't. Great walk up there. If ever you come up this way. Make sure you set up early and before it goes dark. <laughs> I'll just show you the reversing camera, which I think I probably forgot before. So, reverse, so that's reverse, and as you can see, as you move the steering wheel, it shows you where you're going to go. I'll just see it, <laughs> there's a lot of, I don't know if I'll be able to show you here, but I'll try not to reverse over the edge of this cliff, but down there. Can you see? This could be the last video I ever make. <laughs> right, I'm not, I'm not going any further, but there's a load of sheep down there. Okay, lovely car, great to drive. Good specification, the electric seats, the heated seats and everything. Um, it, it's just, just like new. The, the good thing with Mercedes-Benz, certainly over Audis, um, you know, the, this nice centre console, the front centre armrest, that pops open. You've got two USB sockets there, an SD card. I'm just charging my phone at the moment, that's what that lead is. And, and it's, it's a nice, it's a nice setup. Steering wheel's lovely, the little, the kind of, the flat bottom there. Um, everything you could need, lovely car. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.